Sophie, I was wrong. Thank you. Sonir didn't want you to guard the secret of the Holy Grail. Sophie, you are the secret. No. What? You survived the car accident. If it even was an accident, the Priory found out. They must have concealed the fact that you weren't dead. What? It's not yeah. possible. You are the heir. The end of the royal bloodline. The living descendant of Jesus Christ. Wait, it all makes sense. Your grandfather wasn't playing games with you as a child. He was training you. Yeah, that part's teaching obvious. you so that you could take over and continue to guard the secret of the royal bloodline. Your own secret. Your blood. Thank God it's not Robert. You, were, you would never believe him. Even now, after all that you've seen and learned, you still doubt it. Sophie, it is true. Who are you? I gave you up once, knowing that I might never see you again. Your mother? But I have prayed for this moment for a very long time. Aww. I am your grandmother, Sophie. I'll settle for that. No. No. So, Sophie's found her long lost family. Both of your parents were descended from Merovingian families. Okay. For protection, they changed their names of Plantard and St. Clair. Okay. Protection? From what? There are many who would kill to protect their belief in Christ's divinity. To learn that he not only had children, but that there are people still alive who carry his blood. It would be too much for some to comprehend. I can see that. a lot of religious zealotry in the past day or two. But no one seemed to have much interest in tracking down and killing the descendants of Christ. Hmm. Nevertheless, there are those who would murder to maintain their belief that the Bible is perfect and that Jesus had no children or even a wife. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Sophie, I know that you have always wondered what happened to your parents. Your parents were killed in a car accident whose cause could not be determined. The Priory feared the identity of the royal line had been discovered. Mm -hmm. Your grandfather and I had to make a grave decision the instant we received the phone call. Mm -hmm. Your grandfather took you to France, and I moved here to watch over Rosalind with your baby brother. Aww. Her brother's alive. Separating the family was the hardest thing we ever had to do. But we did it, knowing that it was the only way to keep you safe. No. Welcome home, princess. And it explains why Sonier always called her Princess Sophie. Aww. My husband obviously trusted you, Mr. Langdon. Hey! And so shall I. Considering what she must you've be done for Sonier's me tonight, and as wife. curator of the Rosalind Trust, I can tell you for certain that the Grail is no longer here. But the words say the Holy Grail beneath ancient Roslyn waits. One of the Priory's most ancient charges was one day to return the Grail to her homeland of France, where she could rest for eternity. When my husband became Grand Master, okay. his first duty was to restore her honor by returning her to France. And building her a resting place fit for a queen. But the poem says. Why does it point to Rosalind? Perhaps you've misread its meaning. <laughs> the Grail can be deceptive. As could my late husband. No, I like her. So no. I should go. You should spend some time with your family. Thank you. Darn right. For what? For bringing me here. Aww. For letting him choose you, Sir Robert. Aww. I'll always be there for you if you need me, Sophie. Aww. I know. Oh, don't, don't go cliche. Aww. Yay, they didn't go for the full out cliche. Aww. That made it so much better. Yay! So, Sophie is a descendant of Mary Magdalene. Ooh, the only secret. Descendant of Christ and Mary Magdalene. Thank God it wasn't Robert. Just thank God. 
Yes, I'm sure I want to overwrite. Yay! No. Oh. This set gives me warm fuzzy feelings. Oh wow, I can't even hear them. And now I was back in Paris as if nothing had happened. But everything had changed and suddenly I understood Sonia's message at last. Beneath ancient Rosalind waits. In master's loving art she lies. At last beneath the starry skies. Okay, so Mary Magdalene's remains are at the Louvre, underneath the glass pyramid. Okay, sweet. 